good afternoon chairpersons good afternoon all so today we will discuss about the prep hp assessment of drug restriction pattern of patient with hypertension and diabetes in india it was initiated by me and dr dhruvi together under the mentorship of dr dr bansi sahu sir in collaboration with mediva these are the stalwart doctors from the gujarat who took part in the study and gave us the data for the study and we are here happy to acknowledge that scientific and knowledge partner was mediva and financial supporter is torrent and the team is present in the hall as well and the good news is that our abstract is approved and accepted as ada as a oral poster so with this i would hand over to dr dhruvi for a further proceeding thank you so much so uh, respected chairperson this was our study it started with the data collection of various anthropo uh, anthropological anthropometric data em weight the type of drugs the history and our hypothesis was that find out how what sort of a drug prescription pattern are we following the guidelines or are we actually looking at and giving the patients the standard of care that we are defining ourselves as you know faculties when we talk at conferences so the study design was a cross sectional study it is a non interventional study as in we are not looking at a particular molecule of drug to be prescribed in preference to anything else we just wanted to see how the investigators across the state of gujarat and in particular pockets are able to prescribe uh, on the background of hypertension and type 2 diabetes our inclusion criteria was all adult with type 2 diabetes and uh, what we asked the investigator was on a particular day the first 10 patients day would be included onto the ehr that was provided by the team mediva now the exclusion criteria was any pregnancy uh, any type 1 diabetes any other acute illness or any other related uh, patients who were unwilling to participate in the study our institutional ethics committee gave the approval for the study to go ahead with the sample we achieved sample size up till now is 1285 and these parameters have been collected uh, graphic details vitals the medical history the family history duration of diabetes and the complication of diabetes hypertension its duration and complication because the next subgroup analysis that we want hypertension the lifestyle social habits as well as the lab investigations we collected the data using the applications and the data processing is also a part of our scientific uh, partners over here they use the spss version 8 now all of these data analysis is not our forte but they use the ano technique now i'll come to the results part if you can very well observe it on the uh, slides over here 54% were male were in but if you look at the b i uh, there happens whenever we have a study like this that the number and the complete data might not be enough so in spite of our total sample size being 1285 the number that we are analyzing for bmi is 12 uh, 11 for age it is 1285 every patient had an age uh, document but for the duration of diabetes the number was 672 if you can appreciate over here most diabetes uh, had a bmi about 25 and the duration of diabetes those who uploaded data it was more than 5 years or more than equal to 5 years and if we can uh, you know this this is the main part of our study over here the drugs the oed and the in that were prescribed to these with type 2 diabetes 85% were on oeds and there was still 5% were only on insulin and then there was 10% were on a combination of both insulin so it, it's pretty uh, interesting to understand that at the time when we are talking about early insulin for an optimum care of type 2 diabetes there are still quite a lot who are not the number of drug classes if you can over here the 1 2 3 5 means therapy due therapy uh, triple therapy and so on so still there were a lot who were on monotherapy person and there were still some on triple therapy and there are more than that who are on four oeds five oeds and the drug classes that were used of course was the highest group prescribed but in spite of the guidelines that sg will be one the next add on to comment still sulfonylureas are winning the race over here. the injectable insulin still considered 5% out of the 5% and, and glp1 analogs which we are so so pro for talking about them 
constitutes only 1% of the uh, whole study sample. If we divided it in male and female, the difference is something which... And they, there is almost no gender difference when we prescribe our molecules to the male. In terms of duration of diabetes, again, if you appreciate people who were of more than or for longer duration of diabetes, the SGLT2s, if you go down and down in the graphs, the number of SGLT2 increased over as the duration. So I am summarizing very much time that the patients who were on OADs were still 90%. And both in OADs and in a 10%. Uh, there were no major gender change. Metformin and sulfonyl was still you know, winning the race over here when we talk about the prescribed drug. That I'm going to 